Hello mga kawamat! In this video, we will discuss about Factor Theorem. Factor Theorem given a polynomial P of X, the expression X minus C is a factor of polynomial if and only the value if P of C will yield to zero, that is P of C is equal to zero. For example, is x plus 2 a factor of 3x to the 4th power plus 5x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 2? Okay, first, kailangan natin kunin yung value indicator natin. sa natin makukuha yan sa divisor? So, sa x plus 2. So, c is equal to negative 2. So, kapag sinabditute natin yung value indicator natin sa polynomial, and then, kapag nag-zero yon, nag-equal sa zero, therefore, si x plus 2 is factor nitong given. So, let's check. So, p of negative 2 is equal to, so, papalitan lang natin lahat ng x variable ng negative 2. So, 3 times negative 2 to the 4th power plus 5 times negative 2 cubed minus uh, the quantity of negative 2 squared plus negative 2 minus 2. And then simplify again. Negative 2 to the 4th power is 16. And negative 2 cubed that is negative 8. Negative 2 squared that is positive 4. And then negative 2 minus 2. 3 times 16 that is 48. 5 times negative 8 that is negative 40. Minus 4 minus 2 and minus 2. So, kapag sinimplify natin, the answer is 0. So, therefore, mapuprove natin na x plus 2 is a factor of 3x to the 4th plus 5x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 2. Another example. Determine whether x minus 3 is a factor of p of c where p of c is equal to x to the fourth power, minus 3x cubed minus x plus 3. So, una ulit gagawin, identify natin yung value indicator. Since that is x minus 3, so yung value indicator natin is positive 3. So, let's see is equal to 3. So, substitute natin yung nakuha natin value sa lahat ng x sa given. So, that is 3 to the fourth power, minus 3 times 3 cubed. Minus 3 plus 3. So, pinalitan lang natin lahat ng x ng positive 3. And then, simplify. 3 to the 4th power, that is 81. So, 3 cubed, that is 27 wide. So, 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27. Minus 3 plus 3. And then, 81 minus 3 times 27 is 81. Minus 3 plus 3. So, kapag... Uh, in evaluate natin yan, the answer is 0. Therefore, x minus 3 is a factor of x to the 4th minus 3x cubed minus x plus 3. Example number 3. Okay, determine whether x minus 1 is a factor of x to the 4th minus 8x squared plus 16. So, Again, identify the value indicator since x minus 1 yung divisor natin. Yung value indicator natin dito is positive 1. So, substitute lang natin. So, 1 to the 4th power. So, lahat ng x palitan ng 1. Minus 8 times 1 squared plus 16. And then, 1 to the 4th, that is 1. Negative 8. So, since 1 squared is 1, so times negative 8 plus 16. And then, Pag in evaluate natin negative 8 times 1, that is negative 8. So, 1 minus 8 plus 16, the answer is 9. Since P of C, or your P of 1, is not equal to 0. So, since P of 1 is not equal to 0, therefore, X minus 1 is not a factor of X to the fourth minus 8X squared plus 16. So, tatandaan natin, ka Kapag gusto natin malaman yung given na divisor, kung factor ba siya nung uh, dividend natin, yung given yung polynomials pala natin, 
So, ganito lang natin gawin. Kunin lang yung value indicator doon sa X, sa divisor natin, then substitute. Kapag 0, okay, yung sagot natin, so, ibig sabihin, factor siya. Pero kapag hindi 0 yan, ibig sabihin nun, it is not a factor of the given polynomials. Example number 4. Let P of C is equal to X cubed minus 7X plus 6. Factor the polynomial, P of C, then solve the equation. So, alam natin na ang P of C is equal to 0 kapag factor siya, right? So, let us test linear factors of the form X minus C such as X plus 1. So, kukuha lang tayo ng uh, any value. So, let's try first the negative 1. So, check natin si negative 1 kung factor ba or yung X plus 1 natin ay factor nitong given natin. So, gamit yung natutunan nyo kanina or first, pwede natin using the uh, synthetic division. Sige, gamitin muna pa natin yung synthetic division. So, what is the leading coefficient? That is 1. Since nawawala yung quadratic term, so nag-insert tayo ng 0, negative 7 and 6. So, dapat Anong makukuha natin dito? Kapag 0 to, ang remainder dito, ibig sabihin, uh, negative 1 ay included. No? So, bring down 1. 1 times negative 1, that is negative 1. Then, add. 0 plus negative 1, that is negative 1. And then, negative 1 times negative 1, that is positive 7. Negative 7 times 1, that is, ano, uh, negative 7 plus 1. That is negative 6. And then negative 6 times negative 1, that is positive 6. 6 plus 6, that is positive 12. So, since ang remainder natin is 0, ay 12. So, therefore, si negative 1 is not part of the roots or nung solution nitong given natin. So, anong gagawin natin? Try tayo ng isa pa. Kung, try natin yung positive 1. Okay, since P of negative 1 is not 0, then X plus 1 is not a factor of P of C. So, hindi siya factor. So, try natin yung positive 1. So, try natin si positive 1. So, ganun lang yung proseso. So, kapag nakuha natin and sinabtitute na natin, so, the remainder is 0. So, ibig sabihin kapag ang remainder natin ay 0, and P of 1 is equal to 0, then... Our x minus 1 is a factor. And then, this one, so the remaining, that is x squared plus x minus 6 is the another factor. So, kung ang x minus 1 is factor na nitong given natin, so the other factor is x squared plus x minus 6. So, paano natin kunin to? Okay, pwede tayo gumamit ng factoring. So, kung naalala nyo sa grade 8 lessons nyo, uh, more on factoring doon. So, kung nalilito kung paano kunin yung factor nito, pwede kayo pumunta, uh, i-review nyo yung first topic or first two topics ng grade 8 lessons. Okay? And then, equate lang natin yung tatlong uh, factors sa 0. So, una natin yung x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, that is x is equal to 1. The other one is x plus 3 equate to 0. And x is equal to negative 3. The other one is x minus 2 equal to 0. So, x is equal to positive 2. Therefore, the solution are 1, negative 3, and 2. So, gamit si factor theorem, so makukuha natin yung solution na given polynomials. Next, find k so that x plus 3 is a factor of p of c is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus kx plus 12. So, dapat ma-identify natin yung k o makuha natin yung k para maging factor si x plus 3 nito. Okay? So, by factor theorem, if x plus 3 is a factor of p of c, then p of negative 3 is equal to 0. So, malalaman natin na factor yung x plus 3 kapag uh, sinaptitute natin si negative 3 nag-equal sa 0. Okay, so that is negative 3 squared minus 2 times negative 3 squared. So, di ba ang gagawin natin? Isa substitute natin yung, uh, ano natin, yung value indicator natin. Since x plus 3 yan, so yung value indicator natin is negative 3. 
And then negative 3 cubed, papalitan lang natin lahat ng x ng negative 3. So negative 2 times negative 3 squared minus k times negative 3 plus 12. And after that, simplify natin. So pwede na natin, first kunin natin yung k kasi yun ang hinahanap natin, di ba? So negative 3 cubed, that is negative 27. Negative 3 squared, that is 9. Then negative k times negative 3, that is positive 3k plus 12. And then combine similar terms. So negative 27 minus 18 plus 12. That is negative 33. And 3k minus 33 equal to 0. And then add both sides by 33. So 3k is equal to 33. Divide both sides by 3. K is equal to 11. So thus, x plus 3 is a factor of x cubed. Minus 2x squared, so papalitan natin yung k ng 11. So, again, does x plus 3 is a factor of x cubed minus 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your Wow Math channel.